Yeah, we make it last. Let's go, Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh. One. One. Yeah. One. Oh. One shot. Now the future is yours. Go. Yeah. I was building on the lecture. Versus coming daily under pressure. Working on the plot and the scheme. The true style trademark is at the edge of your dreams. I'm talking one. One shot for the kill. The breeze cut freeze. Ah. Straight drop the kill. Ah. Taking over pieces and shares of all the sky high. Check the movement. Is here. So, uh, he never took hypey mud. <laughs> so, we gotta go ahead and christen him to the house. <laughs> do, you, do you snort this or you. No, we don't. <laughs> So cheers. Yeah, Thank cheers, you Kelly. Thank the you. The weights and everything coming out. Thank you for invi inviting me into your lovely home. Oh, yeah. So we're here with my good friend Kelly, and he's invited us into his home. He said, just had delivery of this full yeah. set of our brand new nuclear dumbbells. Yeah. And he said, look, you know, I've got the product. You better come and work out with me. So I'm, yeah. um, I'm, I'm feeling very intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I, I, he will be real nice. I, I thought you know. my I thought I had my arms coming on, but like you know, this is uh, I've got yeah. I've got a long way to go. No, you're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> you know, we represent the OGs of the world. Absolutely. You know what I mean? When you get past forty and up there to fifty, we represent that class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's Jay. go, baby. Let's do it. Here we go. So no ball. Ah! Oh, we gotta show the camera off. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <man>. Woo! <laughs> there you go. No limit. Woo! Oh, 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 you know, I make my money from my looks. <laughs> Not these looks, but the body looks. <laughs> but uh, as a baby, I seen my uncle. He was an electrician, but he was buff. So me seeing that as a baby, I'm like, that's what a man's supposed to be. Yeah. That's how I grew up as a kid. Yeah. Everybody in the neighborhood was fit, ripped. Uh, like I say, my uncle, got guys was going to prison, yeah. uh, youth authority, ripped, buff. So me as a kid coming up, a man was supposed to look yeah. like this. Yeah. And that's just how I kept it. Then I got into sports. I wanted to be faster and stronger. I didn't care about being like I am now, whatever, look like bodybuilder. I just wanted to be fast and strong. Yeah. But I had the genetics that turned into this. Yeah. But this wasn't my purpose. This wasn't my goal. And then uh, I just kept progressing and seeing you know, that I can make a living from it. Yeah. And I just kept with it. Yeah. I was the same, I had a cousin, he was a builder. And he used to just have these like, these massive, well at the time it seemed like he had these massive arms. And I always used to see him at Christmas. We used to go around his house and he'd have the weights in the garage. And I'm like, I, I just, I just wanted those biceps, you know. <laughs> yeah. just, and, and so when I was younger, that like like you, he was just someone I wanted to be like. And then my, yeah. my, my friends, best friends, father, used to do bodybuilding and boxing and that. Yeah, so yeah. when you're growing up, you kind of you get influenced, don't you? Yeah. So for me, I think you, your body is, is meant to, you know, like these, your body's meant to be a particular way. You know, God mm -hmm. gave you your body not to let it go. It's like if you have a nice car, you clean it, you look exactly. after it, and you make the most of it. Yeah. And I think for your body, not to say that you need to be crazy, but right, exactly. you should make the most out of it. Yeah. And you should look after it and put good food in and work out. And, and I think if, Whatever that is for, for, for anyone, I think that's important. Yeah, um, exactly. So we, th these are called lawn mowers. Cause you yeah. act like you're mowing the lawn. Lawn mowers. Yeah. Okay. So when you come, put this foot back more. Okay. Bring it forward. Yeah. Come back. There you go. Uh, is that as close as you get to mind your That's it. <laughs> we hired a uh, gardener. <laughs> Easy money, look up, baby. All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Get it, get it. Hate means I do something right. right. So I'ma let them. Yeah, I'ma let them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'ma let them. I, I hit the nail on the head. Yeah, yeah, I'ma let them. Uh -huh. All I hear, 
they go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something right. So I'ma let them. Yeah, I'ma let them. I went to Gold's Venice because I used to work out there every Saturday and Sunday. He talked to me for 30 minutes. Really? What day? And he was like, I see what's going on. <laughs> this is what I was, like, I blew up. Just, I was in like four national commercials. My YouTube blew up at the same time. The documentary had came out. And uh, he said, I see what's going on. Just, you know, it's going to be a lot of hate towards you. Just stay strong. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I come from Oakland, man. If somebody <laughs> hates you, they just blow your head off. I done been through it all. They said I did gay for pay. Because I used to be a stripper and there's some pictures on the internet or whatever. And I just play into it. I'm like, if, if a dude say that, I'm like, did you look at the pictures? <laughs> so I start trolling them. I'm like, hmm, it might be gay for pay if you wouldn't listen. You know, I just play with them. When's your new uh, AMG get delivered? Uh, we probably go get it maybe in the next few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, even with, so even with that car, it's like, you know, the thoughts will start coming in, should I, shouldn't I? And like I was talking to Miles, man, so many people died this year. Yeah. My music producer, OD, yeah, young guy, 31. I'm, just so many people died. I'm like, I don't want to die with no regret. You know what I mean? Like, whatever I want, I'll be getting it. I've been scheming up a plan, hey. I've yeah. been saving all I can, hey. You can call me David Rams, hey. The way I handle these bands, hey. We ain't messing with the old model. Oh. You are a new kid, we full throttle. Oh. Just know that the come up is not a fool. My amigos, they focus, no one to do. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. So, you know, this year, what brought me more out of my comfort zone? Pranks. It was a pandemic. Newsom got the mask mandate, whatever. So it's like, let's go over the top. Let's go in Costco in the hazmat suit, <laughs> <laughs> right? And so this is my first prank. So I'm excited, but both of us, it's like you get this high, like you on drugs or something, this euphoria. It get kind of scary. Especially the PS5 one we just did right now. So I went in as an inmate. <laughs> like I just got out of jail <laughs> in the orange pants, do rag, right? So I walk in with PS5. So for me, it's the Ella, it's the fear of the police getting involved. Right. And so that's on, the only fear I have with pranks. I get in a lot of, lot of altercations at McDonald's. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, a lot. Like every McDonald's we go to, we get an altercation. That one of the last was the police was called, and we had to interact with her, and she was demonic. But I was able to notice it and able to ward it off. But if me and Big Boy would have said anything wrong, yeah, she yeah. was ready to, yeah, <laughs> pop off. I just imagine you two guys. Oh shit. That's yeah. Like, you'd have like helicopters and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the only fear with me and uh, pranks. It's just the police getting involved. Yeah, yeah. In the comment section, I told them you was coming. They want to see how much you can strict curl. Oh, okay. Ooh. Let's give that a go. <sighs> Ooh, I'm looking big today, baby. Oh, wow. I see why they jealous on the internet. <laughs> Showing sure off. Got them ripped calves, man. I'm a calf fanatic now. I do calves about three, four times a week. Yeah? Yeah. Cause that was a super lagging body part. Woo, this feeling heavy. This feeling heavy.
that feel heavy, boy. You gonna go wide? crap about bodybuilding shows or stuff like that because it's financially not it don't make sense as a grown man to do it you, you know Mr. Olympia going on right now I'm like these guys paid they supposed to be a pro but they paid a lot of money to get on stage to try to impress those judges and a lot of them walking out of there in the hole. Mo well, 99.9%. Yeah. Even Mr. Olympia. Okay, let's take Brandon Quarry. He won last year. He won 400000 How much do you think he spent to make that 400000 People don't, these guys are bro. We were just talking today. They, they don't work in all that. These dudes, they, they robot. They bots, as we call them. You so fixated on being muscular and buff that nothing else matters. You ready? So now we're gonna do some uh, hammer curls. Y'all see, Matt Strong, man. So we go push his limits and see if he have a limit. <laughs> I doubt he has one because he's limitless. Huh? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> That, if they was paying enough money, I'd be on the Mr. Lippie stage. <laughs> I ain't joking. Let's go. Good. Good. Get it. Yep. People say they don't have regrets, I do. That was a regret. That was bombs in there, man. Dope heads. Like, when I was in there, I'm like, I can't let these people tell me what to do. I gotta be the head leader mm -hmm. and tell these fucking dope heads and these other people what to do. Yeah. I refuse to let them people lead me. And that's what it was. So that that was a regret. Yeah. Well, maybe, but it maybe was, though that maybe that was just no. It was a purpose. Right. Yeah. It, it was a purpose. And um, but if I could change the hands of time and still end up where I am now, yeah. I would have left that out. Has your children changed your perspective on life? More extreme. I think about death extremely a lot now. Since I have my kids. Yeah. Because when I'm playing with them, holding them, I'm like, damn, what if something happened and I can't raise them to, yeah. you know, what they need to be? More urgency that one day 
you know? Be here and right. Stuff. Yeah, that's what changed me the most. Yeah. Man, escape your limits. Don't let nobody restrict your mind state. And don't get caught up in the uh, craziness or the madness that you people trying to brainwash you with. That's yeah, the key. Man. <laughs> Dope. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah. Crazy. It's my inspiration right there, man. She.